Hey everyone, D-Dub Squizzy here. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Salted. You have been waiting. Oop, Salted. nope, get away from them. I'm not gonna fight these things here. They got some traps set up because they're editor caps and they can all poison me and I'm not ready to deal I'm with them. I'm not gonna take risks with waylays in the cloakwood. Excuse me, please let me speak before you attack. Okay, so most of these woods aren't that bad. It's just uh, a lot of spiders, but there's some specific groups and uh, some traps in particular areas. There's also a magical scimitar that has, can disappear, so I want to go grab that. Huh. Don't like how much I'm failing. It doesn't really make sense. I hide and shot is 105. I should be succeeding every time, right? There's a giant spider. I knew one spawned there. Wasn't sure what he was waiting for. Ow. Right. Just in case I need them. Given how quickly uh, poison damages, it's best to have these on hand because they'll also heal you. Ten hit points. It's only one more than a normal healing potion, but it's like a combination. Okay. So there's five edder caps up there. Pretty sure I can take them if I draw them out one at a time. The issue is there's also a web trap. How? How? Did, what are they rolling to hit me? 19. 19. Okay, so they have to roll pretty high by the looks of it. The only problem I have with that is that they do. There it is. There's web traps flanking that entire area. Ow, come on! It's the most bizarre thing. 17 minus 5. How does a 12 hit me? Is my armor class that awful? Get over here. I don't know, I feel like I should be getting hit a lot less than I am. Regardless, they're all dead now. Pretty sure there's one on this side. I wouldn't swear to it, but I'm close to certain. At least my save versus poison is real good, though. This is another one of those cursed rings. Dreadfully bad. Oh, yep, there was. Had a feeling there wasn't. My feelings misled me. Well, while we're waiting, I can assess the situation. So over in this area, there's one web trap and there's some phase spiders and stuff on like a little island. Down here, you got some more traps with some more phase spiders and like a, maybe a sword spider. And then the nest is right in this area. And I know there's at least one more trap around there and a sword spider. Right, what's this then? Other than that, not really sure uh, what everything else is exactly, but those are the biggest hits. Right, what's this then? And the stuff to watch out for. Mainly because of those web traps, because spiders and other caps are immune to them. So they'll just keep on going if they get webbed. Sorted. I think I'm going to go up first. I can go kill those phase spiders. 8,000 away. I didn't level up last episode at all, I th right? Yeah, no, I didn't. Bandit camp isn't worth a whole lot of XP, if I'm being honest. I could do it much sooner than I do. It's just hard to find a time to do all of the various side quests and stuff in the game. 
without progressing too far in the story. Because eventually the story does get reasonably difficult. I choose to do all of the minor side stuff at that point. I used to save Firewine, Olcaster, and Ice Island for later. Then I realized that Firewine and Olcaster aren't very difficult. One is just tedious, one of them is actually comically easy. Ice Island can be pretty dangerous, so I'll give that one credit. I just do it early because I can. There's another one. Get over here. Another? Maybe not. We'll find out. Alright, just the two of them. <coughs> Alright, I can't remember if there's a web trap leading up to the nest. I know there's one around the area, but I can't remember exactly where it is. I'll need to keep my eyes open. And just kind of move slowly until I either see a trap... Well, really, that's it. I know there's a trap somewhere. I'm just not sure if it's on this path or if it's from the lower path. And I know that there are some dangerous spiders. It could be between those two trees right there. This is tense. Because I'm really not in the mood to lose. But I'm also kind of lazy and impatient. I just want to push through and forget about everything else. It might be right down there. There it is. Alright, pretty sure that's the only one. I'll be back for the nest. So that leaves one more area with traps. It's also got phase spiders in it. We can approach it from up here. Might also have a sword spider. Let's get a more in-depth look here. Get over here. All right, I managed to split them up, fortunately. So I should be able to get at the other phase spider without it seeing me, and I would prefer not to risk getting poisoned again. Get over here. So there's like one or two paths. Ooh. There's like one or two paths into this place that are not trapped. I think it's just the one that's right down there at the bottom. And then the rest is all heavily trapped. There's a trap up here somewhere too. There it is. Alright, I think that's all of them in the area. Pretty sure I just disabled the last trap. One hopes, at least, because if I get caught in a trap with a spider, it's it's over. But 
if I do spring a trap, the first thing I would want to do is just to go invisible. Hide in the shadows, use the ring, whatever I gotta do. Eerily silent out all of a sudden. Okay, so Sentiel has, to the best of my knowledge, a sword spider, two wetter caps, and she will summon two giant spiders. And I think that's it. She might have four wetter caps, and then there's her herself. I'm not really worried about her. I think I should kill the wetter caps first, and then focus on the sword spider. Wetter caps have nasty poison, they get way too many attacks, and they hit far too often. But it's possible I can Salted. separate them from each other. Oh, she's got two sword spiders. That's not the best news. Let me, uh, lure them outside. Okay, no, she has way more sword. than I thought. And separate the sword spiders from the rest of the group. Kill that one first. They also hit far more often than any of the others. Can't get ganged up on. Simple probability will dictate I'll get hit like a fourth of this time if they all start swinging. And all of these things can poison me. I'm only oh no, I just got surrounded, didn't I? Nope, okay, I'm still loose. Kill that one. The idea is to just keep them off balance. Get over here. Ow. And constantly abuse their pathfinding AI. Oh wow, I leveled up. Everything in Hide and Shadows. Let's just get that up to a hundred. I'll go up as a thief again before going up as a fighter. Oh, well, that was a little annoying, but hey, they're all dead. I think she's still got one giant spider in there. It's going to be like 100,000 experience before I level up again, so I might not in like the entirety of Baldur's Gate 1. That is a lot of experience. And that's just to go up as Salty. a thief. Man, they made that thing hideous. One of my brothers tried to uh, cast Remove Curse on her once. She said she was cursed into that state by John Arenicus. So he tried to go over and remove curse on her. It was like a second away from casting when she punched him out of it. Right, what's this then? He proceeded to crack her skull with a hammer. Right, what's this then? Oh, that was a waste. Forgot I regen between areas. Oh, well, yeah, pretty dangerous area. Reasonably well taken care of. I lost a good amount of health, but all the spiders and caps are dead. And I had plenty of potions. 
I can always drop by a temple and just pick up like another 25 if I need to. Sorted. All right, the druid woods. I'm going to kill them all. You know, I remember the shadow druids still having some semblance of peaceful relations with the others. Because I felt like I remembered coming through here with Jahira and all of them just talking to me and then immediately leaving because she was in the party. So they acknowledged her presence, gave me some advice about the Iron Throne and Peter of the North nearby, right, and then left. Recently I came through here with a traditional party, so I had Jahira in the group. And uh, they all just attacked me the moment they saw me. They came rolling in, they would like accuse her of being a traitor or whatnot, and then they would attack without question. Senyid, the one at the start in the very first Cloakwood area was attacking Aldith, he, uh, what do you call it, talked with Jahira, because they knew each other, and I came to a peaceful resolution for both Aldith and Senyid, and they both lived. Most of the druids out here aren't that bad, because I can usually, like, if I can get my hits in, I can put them down easily before they can get one of their call lightnings off, which is almost always the first thing they use. Except for one of them in the treehouse, the arch druid around here. He will throw out an insect swarm. Which is a nightmare and a half to deal with. Everyone else, though, they can all die. I don't 51 and he didn't explode, he just died. So they're durable. So I wonder if it was Jahira's druid circle that the shadow druids wiped out over in the Wood of Sharp Teeth, where you found Corzone and Osmati killing. Well, maybe not, because Senya knows Jahira, and he's from the circle here in Clovewood. I think they were just recently taken over by shadow druids, and I'm still not certain on what exactly a shadow druid is. I guess it's just a bad druid. And a stupid one, too. If they actually believed in preserving nature, they would know that, uh, that nature running rampant is sheer destruction. It ends up devouring and destroying itself. It chokes the life out of everything until you have this big mass of non-life that moves. Forests that aren't properly regulated are kind of awful. For everything inside. I'm on it. Okay, I gotta kill these wyverns first. Peter of the North, I don't really care about. Kill it. Kill it now. Okay. Get over here. Wyverns have the nastiest poison of all of the poisons. Fourteen is actually the minimum I can do in my main hand. I think those gauntlets make a pretty big difference. It's surprising how small this area actually is. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is about it, but it, it seems like it should be bigger. But then you actually start exploring, and it's not. Okay, I think 
Like, there's like two or three more druids left. Excluding Faldorn, who doesn't really count, because you can pick her up. And she doesn't really fight back. Get over here! Deal with Treehouse Boy last, in case I have to run outside, I'd prefer to not have any chance of running into someone else. He'll throw an insect swarm out, and if he catches me in it, I'm gonna end up running around in circles, terrified. While taking constant annoying damage, and then he'll beat the tar out of me while it happens. It's not like an instant death sentence, because you don't run around for all that long, usually before regaining control of yourself, but it can be pretty annoying. I could use the greenstone amulet, I guess. I should keep it on me. I mean, I got 50 uses in it. I might as well. I'm gonna try to backstab the guy, though. I might be able to kill him or get him close enough to death. He doesn't have a chance to do anything. Other than him, there's, I think, one more druid walking around out in these woods somewhere. Now that I've got as much proficiency in sneaking as I do, I might as well just use it all the time. Every time I'm not in direct combat, be sneaking. So when I level up as a thief now, I think I should put 20 points on set traps and then the rest, the other 5, on to move silently. And I should keep doing that until I got 100 in set traps. Which will be like 5 more thief levels, so I'm not going to get there in Baldur's Gate 1. Right, what's this then? But that's the plan for that. Once I'm done with that, I'll move, get moved silently up to 100, and then focus on Detect Illusion, because that does have some tactical application. Not as much as many of my other abilities, but it, it has its I'm uses. I'm on it. Potion of Freedom? It is. Alright, so as a precautionary measure, we'll use this. Right, what's this then? Got him. Alright, yeah. Dude, you're poor. He had a spare quarter staff in his closet. Sorted. Just What's continue this moving on. Oh, can't go that way. Can I go this way, down here? Yes. Wyvern Woods are next. Not that place, over here. I'll kill that Homodryad at the start, clear out the little starting portion. And then use that, because the rest of the woods are filled with wyverns. The baby ones aren't that big of a problem. They don't hit that hard, and if they can't poison you... That's their main threatening ability countered. It's the big ones that are a problem. Because they'll poison you and they hit like a truck. So taking out their poison is just one step. They're also very tough. Right, where's that homodryad? Basically just a Dimension Door and Siren. What she does not have is health.
We might find some Iron Throne mercs in this area, too. Pretty sure they come out this far. It is really hard to hide in shadows out in daylight. So I don't plan on going into the mines this episode. Once I'm done with this area, I'll clear out, or I'll go to the next one, and I'll clear out the surrounding area, like the forest and stuff. And then, I think that'll be it. I could clear out the top floor, I guess. Kill Drassus and his gang, and then purge the upper buildings. How long does this last? Six hours. Yeah, that's plenty of time, too. Alright, so there's a couple babies up here. Get over here! majority of the baby ones are on that other island. Yeah, up this way. I didn't even know this place existed for the longest time. I had to have played through this entire game like three or four times without ever actually exploring the areas. Like any of them. I just knew where to go for like the quests and the special encounters. And then one game I decided to search everything out thoroughly. Got to this place, saw this little island, eh, whatever. Saw this little island, and then went out to investigate, and then Get found a bunch of wyverns all over it. That was back in the good old days when we still had the cutscene of the wyvern flying overhead with a cow in its clutches. Get over here! I'm on it. Yeah. Oh, it's getting dark and it's raining. Should make it easier for me to sneak around. Get over here. So I wonder if they were training wyverns over here as well, because Peter of the North was working for these guys. I'm on it. He was trying to train them to be like pet guard things for their mining op. I wonder if that's what the rest of them were doing over in this area. Because otherwise it doesn't make sense that one of those guards would be anywhere near these things. And why they're so close to the, like, the main nest cave of wyverns in these woods. Which I'm thinking is the one Duke Elton killed way back when. Duke Elton is rather famous in this game for having wiped out a bunch of wyverns in Globewood. When you go into that nest, you find two adults, three babies, I think, and then the carcass of just a massive one, where it looked like a pretty big fight took place to put it down. There's also some, like, horse-sized carrion crawlers, so that's awful. Got another guard. I have to imagine life can't be pleasant for these guys. They're just like out here in the cloakwood, minding their business, getting paid to watch over these forest paths no one dares tread, and then all of a sudden, you just get like a sword shoved through your back. Get over here! It 
It's kind of like being anyone in Skyrim when the player character's around. You know, just out working, minding your own business, and then suddenly your head is off, or you're disintegrated, or turned into a pile of gold coins, or something. So as for Drassus and his crowd, I think I can lure out Drassus and the other guy, Gregor, I think his name is, and uh, kill them. They're the fighters. Then they still have two mages. But to the best of my knowledge, only one of those mages uses actual mind-affecting spells, but I wouldn't swear to that. I can never remember what Naaman uses. I know he summons things, but I don't know if that's all he does. Now, I'm pretty sure I could kill one of them before they could do anything. But I'll probably want to use the greenstone amulet just to keep my bases covered. I mean, 50 uses is so many. That unlocks a lot of the possibilities. Okay. Time to kill some wyverns. Sorted. Kill this one next. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they don't do that much damage, but it is more than the babies do. And they hit more often. Although all these things hit me quite a bit. Ow. Right, what's this then? You have been waiting. I'm on it. Nope, enemies. that's not gonna happen. Sorted. All right. So this is gonna be the last thing we do: is search out the top or the area around it. Wow, I did not heal all that much. Let's just rest. Bunch of guards, great. Right, what's this then? These guys have a knack for being like just a slight nuisance. I don't know if they'll despawn if I can actually rest. Will they despawn or are they still there? Okay, they despawned. Really didn't feel like dealing with them all. 20 days. Still excessive. I don't know why the game does not take into account my healing factor. Get over here! So Lakadar's out here somewhere. He's really just a normal guard, but he'll summon a group of others. And I kind of want him to do that, because, you know, XP. Plus, it's a specific encounter. But other than him, it's really just like Wolves, Tazloy, and those guards that are out in these woods. It's a pretty tame area. Stop rolling so many 20s. Come on. 
They have rolled four crits in this, like, one fight. Imagine how much more trouble I'd be having in this game if I didn't have a helmet. No, I weren't a fighter thief. This would have been the biggest nightmare. I think this episode's probably already longer than a lot of mine are. But it looks like it's going to be an especially long one. But it's kind of awkward to time all this stuff right. I don't know how long it's going to take me to go through Cloakwood Mines itself. So I just want to knock everything out all at once. We do get a very convenient item out here, though. I'll lose those. Which will be unpleasant, because that's a big hit to my move silently. I'll manage without it. I won't need to move silently if I move faster. Every time I explore this area, it just feels massive and unending. Mostly because there's just nothing here. There's like a couple weak little random encounters. Everything else is garbage. Hit one side. It feels like much less once you get the corners and the sides and stuff, trust me. If I were you, I'd just skip ahead to whenever anything else happens, though. But for the sake of the run, I've got to explore everything. But I feel that's my burden. Everyone else shouldn't have to suffer it, too. Which is why I'm not live-streaming this. Frankly, I never really understood the, the motive behind live-streaming. I guess some people like to interact with their communities, but a lot of people do it without interacting. And by that point, it just feels kind of like a, a money-milking scheme. Which, hey, I'm all for making money creatively. You know, you do what you do to make money in the world. I get it. Oh, Black Talon. I didn't know they could spawn out here. I don't need that bandit scout. wonder if there are any more of them in these woods. They're at least worth twice as much as the other guards. Okay, so it looks like I get a massive penalty for trying to hide in shadows in the middle of the sun. But I can actually... It seems to be almost 100% of the time I can sneak if I'm in the shade. That's at least what I'm gathering. I might be wrong. Hiding in shadows was always a bit funky. Right, that's the whole outer area, though. Oh, it wore off. Well, at least they had a little bit of advance warning. You know, one of them didn't just spontaneously explode. Why do I still count it as in the sun right there? You rang. I don't know if his buddy's gonna come down to help him. I prefer to deal with him alone.
Go on then. Genthor, that's his name. Where did I go? Peekaboo. So I can finally sneak or uh, run around real fast. I've been waiting forever to be able to. Resden, not Naaman. Naaman's a different mage than me. Get over here. Oh, got him. Salt, get over here. There's a potion of magic shielding. All saving throws are automatically successful. That's awesome. How long does it last? Is it a full turn? Three turns. That's super awesome. I did have the right potion, right? Wasn't looking at fortitude? Yes, okay. Because fortitude sucks. I don't want the dagger. I'm gonna need to sneak, because the guard up here will try to talk to me and then disappear. I'd rather not make a mistake and just kill him outright. Or I could keep failing in an enclosed space without a bunch of light. Sorted. What's this then? Right, what's this then? I can take Drizzt with Get both my arms here. tied. Right, what's this then? Right, what's this then? There are three more guards up on this level, I think. Get over here! What's this head? All right, there we go. Sorted. Right, what's this head? So now, Sorted. whole top floor is clear, and I have a full inventory, so I need to get out of here and sell some stuff. Things went pretty well with the bounty hunters. I did use another charge out of the greenstone amulet, but I've got so many uses in it now. Sorted. Oh, we're gonna head down a high hedge. Right, what's this then? Wow, I made it here without getting waylaid. That's a surprise. Sorted. I'm on it. Spider's Bane, yeah, Spider's Bane. It's a great weapon. Grants free action when held, but... Like, I could use the free action on it, but I have enough potions of freedom, and eventually I'll have the ring, so I won't even need the potions by that point. I think I'll be fine. Right, what's this then? Alright, I haven't gotten my second power. You have been way late by Sorry, third power. So get I'm gonna head to the friendly here. arm and I'm just gonna keep resting until I get it. Get over here! Oh, I didn't have the pause that she'd identified. Sorted. Whoopsie. Sorted. As darkness there we go. And now I have slow poison. 
You have great enemies and must defend yourself. Right, what's this then? Slow poison's kind of useless for me. Because all poison will disrupt it. So I can't use it. The alternative is horror, I think, which actually could be pretty useful. But if something's susceptible to horror, chances are I could kill it without a problem I'm anyway. On it. Oh, well, that's going to be it for this one. So I'm next on one, we'll be picking up, clearing out the entirety of Cloakwood, and then we'll be poised to head into Baldur's Gate. So, see y'all then.